Hey there boys and girls, kids and campers. Check out what I just dug up. I found a locket. Now I haven't fully cleaned it yet. Wipe that edge and it looks gold. I'm gonna clean it up a bit. I'll get right back to you with, uh, with some pictures. Man, I'm excited. Okay guys, so uh, I'm getting ready to pack it up because the mosquitoes are eating me alive. But here's what we've got so far. This is going to be gold. It has several stones. It is a complete locket. And uh, I think it's gold. I, we'll test it. But uh, man, it's coming out clean and beautiful. And um, I'll, I'll let you know here a little later on what the, uh, if in fact it is gold and what the carat weight is. All right. We'll see you soon. Thanks guys. Hey there, boys and girls, kids and campers. Dennis here, KCMD, kicking cancer metal detecting. So I'm out this morning on a brand new permission. Behind me, you see the manse. That's the uh, parsonage for the church, my favorite church, the 1789 church, which is just beyond, just beyond the manse, right there. Today, I'm up here on this house. This brand new permission. I got this yesterday, right after I found that little locket. Now, I tested that locket last night. It tested out for 12 karat gold. It has 11 of 12 stones. They're probably not real, but we're going to test them anyways. Um, again, it's 12K with 6.23 grams super exciting now this property was known as military track seven during the revolutionary war and so we could very well find uh some buttons revolutionary war civil war world war one world war two military yeah. we could find silver we could find big copper but today, I expect we're going to find toy cars and square nails. Now that's how it starts. It's always exciting. I can't wait till my, my first hole. And I'll see you guys there. Thanks for checking in. Remember to mash that like button. If you're not subscribed, give me a subscription and ring the bell so you get a notification every time I dig a new hole. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Okay there, boys and girls. We've got our first relic up for the day. It's going to be a little piece of horse tack. It actually came out pretty nice. I haven't seen this particular design before, so I'll have to do a little research and figure out what that's off from. But there you have it. We'll see you on the next. Okay, guys. So uh, I'm on my first coin. It's pretty deep. You can see it right there. It's a copper. It's a penny. Don't know how old yet. Let's, uh, let's take a closer look. See what we got. Yeah, man. Okay, guys. Well, it wasn't a penny. It is a nickel. 19... Yeah. Sorry about that noise. 1940. I'm going to go back and check the hole and see if there's anything else. If not... I'll see you in the next good signal. Hey guys, so uh, I'm out here in the uh, later afternoon and I got myself a spoon. Gonna be silver plated, I'm pretty sure. I broke my uh, chest mount for my camera, so we're hand holding. Today. But that'll be all right. Um, let me zoom it. Let me zoom it back, and we'll take a closer look. Well, there you go. I can't read it, but it's clearly silver plated. 
a nice little spoon I'm happy to have it and I'll see you on the next good signal okay guys so I'm out in the back now I'm in the backyard of the manse and look what I've got this is an early farm implement to toy this would be for plowing your fields turning the soil that's a pretty cool find I haven't found a maker's mark on it yet but uh, we'll clean it up when I get home we'll see what we can find okay guys uh, so here I am in the backyard sorry about that I got mess on my face anyway here I am in the backyard Got a nice strong 2930 tone so well, let's dig it up now this reminds me of something I want to shout out to a friend of mine in Alabama my dear friend Christy she's a sweetheart but Christy says to me every time I talk to her that I've got a horseshoe stuck so far up my butt it won't ever come out she might be right. Let me show you what we got out of the hole. All right, guys. So uh, down here in this hole, not too deep. It was actually up in the top section. There's a lot of nails and such, and I'm still fucking nails and such. But check this out. I'm pretty certain I've got a ring, a little heart ring. Go ahead and pop the center out. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Yeah, that's definitely a ring. A little heart ring. Boy, I'll tell you what. Now, again, today I'm on the mant. So yesterday I dug a piece of gold. Today, maybe I've got some silver. Maybe I've got some bling. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to go ahead and brush this up real quick, and I'll be right back with you. Well guys, there you have it. It has a name on it, although it's in cursive and I can't, I don't know what it is. But it starts with the M. Um, it may have a mark inside, I can't tell. It's, uh, it's turning black, which is an indication of silver. It feels like silver. So, we'll ask to test this later on and we'll let you know what we got uh in the wrap up happy 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 yeah man hey guys you know me i'm dennis from kcmd kicking cancer metal detecting so uh i'm out of the hospital i'm back up to the manse which is the uh the pastoral house for the presbyterian church i'm in the backyard and uh let me show you what I got up, I think. I, I don't know. Maybe you guys will have an idea. But, uh, Sky, well, let me, let me flip it around. It's pretty damn cool. Okay, guys, there you have it. So, I, I can't yet tell if it's, if it's going to be sterling, but it sure is decorative. And I'm, I'm, my thought is that it might be part of a scabbard tip, um, I'm, I'm just not certain um, it was folded around it's beautiful it cleaned really quick um, it's got that nice black patina on it that we see in silver um, could it be that I have found silver again um, at the manse well we'll give this a test later on today and see what it comes up with it does have some fancy on the edges here, some fancy decoration. Um, we'll take a look at it and see what we think, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next good signal. Thanks for checking in. Hey guys, check it out. We got a pocket knife. Um, it's still got the badge on it. Maybe we can get a an identification off from that. I'm gonna take a little break, and I'll come back later this afternoon and. Uh, see what else we can find <clears throat> thanks for checking in hope you stick around and see see how the day ends <laughs>